Hey everybody, it's AMV Reverted Studios here once again with a Maple Story video. Um, actually, it's more like a Maple Story series because this is going to be a multitude of videos going through the, I guess, the newest update in Maple Story, the V patch. Um, and I decided to start a character from scratch to get the full effect of this patch and kind of just figure it out from scratch. Um, I did read the notes. I do know what it's about, but you know, I'm not going to get the full understanding of it unless I go through it myself. So I decided to make an explorer and start all over again. I'm still in Renegades. Um, I did not change that. So I'm not completely starting from scratch because I do have the advantage of my link skills and some meso stored away as you'll see later in this video. Anyway, in this series you will see where I train, what I do to get my armor, you know, how I fund my character because I am not going to be transferring any armor or any equipment from any of my other characters and one of the reasons I chose and it's not that hard to figure out later that I choose to be a crossbowman, a marksman. And the reason why I chose that is so I can specifically not have anything to transfer to my character that I have to earn all my armor and all my weapons on my own. I do have mesos though to support myself along the way. Um, not a ton, but a little bit of a cushion. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. So as you see, I'm still going through the beginner quest here. It did bring back that old nostalgic Maple Story feel playing an explorer again. I haven't started a new character in a while. As you know, my highest level character is a 203 Iran. Um, I haven't made a character from scratch in a while that didn't just turn out to be a Link skill character, which to me, those are frick boring. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now, let you enjoy the video, and I will come back at any crucial points. Now, this also, I guess, kind of doubles as a leveling guide because I'll be going through where I train and how long I train there till. I do have the burning event, so it did help me progress a lot quicker. Um, but I'd say between level 15 to about 20, maybe 25 if you have the burning event, um, the golems area is probably the best place you can be. Um, it was kind of boring for me because I'm so used to having a high level character and being able to go to a lot more intense places. But just to start off between, I guess, level 10 and 15, maybe you can stretch it to 20. Um, I would say golems, the mixed golems in this area. It's not so bad. It might drag on a little bit, but it's not going to last forever. So you'll be okay. Now here I went to Curse Eyes. Um, this is probably one of the better spots when you're super low level before you get your second job advancement to go. Mob is great. Getting between platforms isn't too much of a pain in the butt. And I leveled up pretty quickly here, so I would say Curse Eyes till level 30. Obviously I came here at level 20, 22. It's not that hard, you can do it. Um, I mean, I'm playing an archer for crying out loud, and we are freaking squishy, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, at least power through here till at least level 30. If you get bored, um, an alternative would be ghost stumps um, in Perion, but I am kind of old-fashioned. I love these maps. Um, it's kind of stayed the same um, as far as like level-wise throughout playing it. Um, if anything, it's gotten easier, so yeah, stay here till about 30. Now, congratulations, you reached level 30, which means second job advancement time. This brought back so many memories for me, um, because my first character that I ever made was an explorer. It was a, I think it was a thief, and then I played a mage. 
Um, I jumped around a lot when I first started because I had no idea how to play the game. But this job advancement quest brought back so many memories having to get them stupid marbles. Um, this did take a little longer than I'd like to admit, but the drop rate was very crappy. But I did still enjoy doing it because it brought back a lot of old memories from like pre-Big Bang and even after Big Bang. I'm, I think this was still a thing, correct me if I'm wrong, but I enjoyed doing it just for the sake of nostalgia. Now it definitely didn't take that long to get the second job advancement, um, but yes, finally I get to play around with a crossbow. Um, I'm going to probably have a lot of fun doing this, and in the next video you will see where I trained and how I got to my third job. Anyway guys, this is AMV Reverted Studios, hope you're excited for this series, I will see you in the next one.